Right, I'm going to show you how to set up the RTL dongle with the SDR console. You've plugged the dongle into the USB port of the PC already. Let's start SDR console. This is version 2.2 beta and it's build 1672. Right, select the radio. Now don't forget, take for granted that that's correct. That could be remembered from the last time you plugged the dongle in and it could be a different port from what it is now. So let's click on definitions and click on add let's forget that one click on search and select RTL SDR USB one entry found update list yes it's that one there it's the same one now I'm going to enable my other unit which is uh, cross country wireless SDR 4 plus just to show you something now click on OK and you'll see there's two radios to select. Now if I select my, se con my cross country wireless one, you'll see there's a sound card available to select. Now if I was going to use that, the correct sound card for that would be that one. But we don't want to use that one. We're talking about the RTL dongle and in your case and mine, the EasyCap USB 2.0 DVB. Now click on that and you'll notice that that sound card gets greyed out. Now if I cancel that for a minute and go back to select okay, and click definitions and I get rid of my co cross country wireless one okay, now there's only the RTL dongle left to show. Now you'll notice there is no sound card box at all there so you can't get it wrong. It's direct connection to the program so you haven't got to worry about whether you, whether you selected the right sound input because it's automatic. Select, select the sample rate, 1 meg is a good start, use that. Now click, connect by clicking on start. And you'll notice we've got the waterfall straight away in the bottom window, but there's nothing up here in VFOA. That's because it's not been enabled, so let's enable it. And you can see there's a bit of a waveform there, it's just off in the background in the corner. Click on this, get your frequency in the right place, and it'll fill it up. Now in this case, it's a local station, 106.5. <coughs> Check you're using the right mode, FM broadcast in this case. Check that you've got the right bandwidth, it's another important thing, down here. Display span, now it's automatically applied, but it is 1 meg. Now, if you can see the waterfall, it's receiving but you might not be able to hear anything and that will just be down to the playback device normally it would be the default device which would be the speakers now let's go back to why you're not starting the unit now it's my belief that it's be possibly because you need to you're, you're seeing that and you think that that is the radio <coughs> well let me show you something All right let's click on that and let's start it Ah, it's not working, is it? No, why isn't it working? Well, it's not working because I disconnected the or I unplugged the dongle from the PC. But the program still sees that entry and still believes that entry to be true. But look, nothing happens. Doesn't start. Doesn't start at all. Oh, I think this is your problem. So, what we need to do is to go back to select and definitions. Search. RTL SDR USB. Now in this case it's not going to find anything, sorry. So that means that that one there doesn't exist anymore. So let's delete it. It's gone. Now if I plug back in the dongle, okay, and search for it, it's found it. So let's add it back in. There it is. Click on OK. Highlight it and click on start and lo and behold it's working I think that's the problem you got your end you need to re-add the definition give it a go and see what happens